Rough racing, a post-race confrontation, a driver's dad getting clipped by a car post-race, Stephen Nassi getting wrestled to the ground by an official, and the winner's tires on their semi getting slashed in the post-race. The Winchester 400 is one of the big super late model races in the country, and like most short track races across the country this year, it ended in a bit of controversy with an altercation and some extracurricular activities, all because of what Gio Ruggiero did on the restart with about 10 laps to go in the Winchester 400 when Steven Nassi believes that he was forced up into the wall. Take a look at this incident real quick, and then we'll talk about it after. Steven Nassi, Gio Ruggiero coming to green in turn four. Winchester 400 back underway, nine laps left. Into one and two, they beat and bang Nassi into the wall. Ruggiero into the lead. Butcher into second. Sawalich into third. Nassi contact with Sawalich. So obviously, Gio pushes up and turns one and two. And if you've ever been to Winchester or any of the high banked pavement ovals in Indiana, you know that you run these tracks in kind of a diamond shape or you run them up against the wall. Gio went in there. He used up Stephen Nassi. Could Nassi have kept it off the wall? Uh, that's up for debate, right? We obviously weren't in the car. There's not an onboard. Maybe there's some space there. Maybe he could have saved himself. Uh, from falling back to third and then trying to get back up there. But either way, Geo definitely, in a sense, used him up. It was late in the race. You can make excuses if you want to. You can say that short track racing, that's everybody's prerogative. You choose how you want to race, and Geo in that moment chose that's how he wanted to race. Steven Nassi, obviously not happy about it. They don't call him Nasty Nassi for nothing, so he went down there after the race and confronted Geo on the front stretch in the post race. Take a look at that real quick. Hey, Nassi on the front stretch. Look out. A little bit of contact. Yeah. And now post race, Steven Nassi pulls up, showing Gio what position he finished in. <laughs> it felt very Denny Hamlin versus Alex Bowman, where they're both kind of in their cars and they're both yelling at each other, and not a whole lot going on there. But this is where things get interesting. Gio dumps the clutch because he wants to loop the car around, do a burnout, just maybe get out of the situation. When he does that and he moves the car, the left rear of that car clips Steven Nassi's dad. Not ideal. Not ideal for anybody, but not ideal for the guy that wants to already take your head off to go out there and hit his dad. Some of the crew coming out onto the front stretch as well. Oh! Burnout, out, and down goes one of the crew members. Nassi out of the car, heading up to the Ruggiero. Security is there. Security will take Nassi down to keep there from being a, a big brawl. Yeah, I know. Uh... And now there's a debate to be had that should Steven Nassi's dad have even been over the wall on the front stretch at that point? My opinion, if cars are still running, that's still a live racetrack, you probably shouldn't be out there. And I get why he was out there. So before you come at me in the comments saying I don't understand anything about short track racing, I understand why he's out there, right? It's the post race, his kid oh, it might almost be in a confrontation. You want strength in numbers, and I think that's why he was out there. Probably didn't expect Gio also to dump the clutch and, you know, clip him like that. But it put him down hard like he was in a Tyson fight, and old buddy hit the ground pretty tough. And, uh... Obviously, Gio didn't mean to do that. Steven Nassi, being Steven Nassi, uh, took exception to that, and rightfully so. You see your dad get hit by a race car, you're not going to be happy about that. Nassi, he wants to go after Gio. He wants his head. Obviously and thankfully, somebody stepped in there, an official grabbed him and basically wrestled him to the ground like he Dale and Saul at Red's house, and didn't let him get to Gio because that could have been bad. So Nassi ends up on the ground and a funny looking wrestling match where he's struggling to get up and just can't do it. Gio stays in his car and doesn't get affected there. Nassi's dad ends up being okay. Nassi's still upset on Monday that, you know, his dad was not, you know, checked in on by Gio. Gio didn't make sure that he was all right and everything, you know, that goes along with being cordial like that apparently that has not been uh, given out by the Geo camp, or at least himself. And that's why Nassi is upset. And obviously, with all those extracurriculars on the front stretch, you know, it puts a bit of a shadow over what was supposed to be a really good day of short track racing. And it was a really good day of short track racing. You just hate to see it get clouded by what happens on the front stretch there. And this is, after all, one of the bigger short track races in the country. Eric Jones has won it. Mark Martin's won it. It has a plethora of big time drivers that have gone to win this race and then, you know, moved up to the higher ranks. But what happened on the front stretch perhaps, maybe, potentially, likely, that's up for you to decide, 
resulted in the Wilson Motorsport haulers having the tires slashed on the semis. And you're saying, who's Wilson Motorsports? Well, that's who Geo drives for. And both of their haulers had their tires slashed and Short Track Scene shared a photo of that. Again, I'm sure it was a coincidence. I'm sure it had nothing to do with the nasty situation. I'm sure both of them just happened to have punctures at the same time post-race. Were they affected during the race? Absolutely not. Post-race, you know, who knows? Tires go flat all the time. I'm just saying, it was a coincidence, right? At the end of the day, I think we all love short track racing. And there is a, you know, there's a portion of short track racing that does involve fighting and scuffles and things like that. And I think that stuff is totally fine. I think a lot of people got the wrong impression when I made the Nick Sanchez, Matt Crafton video. What I don't want to see is a guy come up and blindside another driver, sucker punch him, or beat his face in to the point where it's not looking too great. He has to go get his face glued up. I have no problem with a scuffle, guys going to the ground, guys grabbing each other, shoving each other, getting a punch in here and there. Totally fine with all of that. It happens, right? It's a bunch of dudes that are all fired up, and that's what guys do. They get angry at each other for literally no reason about the dumbest things, and they want to beat each other up. And that's what you see happen in short track racing all the time. And what we saw on Sunday at the Winchester 400 really wasn't that bad in the grand scheme of things. Puncturing somebody's tires, potentially, maybe. I'm not making assumptions here. I'm just saying, you know, it was convenient that, in a coincidence, that it was that it happened. Uh, that that's stuff like that. I is there a play? Do we need that? Not really. I mean, what happened to Nassie didn't cost him any money, right? I think his dad ended up being okay. His race car wasn't super damaged. And now these guys have to go call somebody to bring in a spare tire to put on the semi. And I don't know if you know anything about semi truck tires, but they're not cheap. So at the end of the day, I don't want to see stuff like that happen. But if you want to get mad at, you know, the driver, by all means, go down there and tell him that you're mad at him. But in short track racing, tempers run high. And we saw it again in the Winchester 400. So if you... If you've never been to the Winchester 400, to a race at Salem, to any of these big time short track races around the country, or just the short tracks in general, I highly recommend going and checking them out. Some of the best racing you'll see all year. So, Gio Ruggiero wins the race, Steven Nassi not happy, Steven Nassi's dad gets hit by a Gio in the post race, Steven Nassi wants to go after him, Wilson Motorsports gets their tires slashed. Just another Sunday at the Winchester 400. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.